We are here inside the Ford's Theater Center for Education and Leadership in the galleries of this new exhibit space that was created in 2012 to help promote the teaching and understanding of Abraham Lincoln and his legacy in a broader context. The building is across the street from Ford's Theater and it's adjacent to the Peterson House where Abraham Lincoln died on April 15th. My name is Matthew Pinsker and what I'm going to try to do is show you how this new center is designed to create ways to teach the aftermath of Abraham Lincoln's assassination and the story of his evolving legacy to students. So first of all we're here on the fourth floor in what they actually call the aftermath gallery. This is a place that recreates the immediate hours and days after Abraham Lincoln died uh, at 722 in the morning on April 15th. Uh, this was a shocking event. It's hard to convey how shocking the experience was for a nation to see its president assassinated. It had never happened before and the outpouring of grief was overwhelming. The funeral of Abraham Lincoln, which began with a funeral train procession that took his body from Washington over 1,700 miles in two weeks to Springfield, Illinois, that was a national event of mourning uh, on a scale that had never before been seen. We estimate that uh, about one out of three Americans who live outside the South at that time actually viewed the procession at some point. It was a moment for Americans to testify to their their affection, their attachment to the president uh, for what he had done for the nation in saving the Union and freeing the slaves. But what's fascinating and what's so teachable about this moment is that the day before his assassination, Abraham Lincoln did not stand in the same stature with those people. This is a president who had been elected twice. Uh, but in both cases, he wasn't elected by a majority of Americans. In 1860, Lincoln was elected with only 40% of the popular vote. In 1864, he was re-elected with 55% of the popular vote, but without southern states participating. And yet, according to all of the accounts we have, the grief transcended the Mason-Dixon line in April, May, and beyond of 1865. Southerners were shocked by what had happened, as well as Northerners. And it began the process of transforming Lincoln's life into a new set of meetings for Americans. It transformed him into a national martyr. And so what's so teachable about that for your students is to remind them that life's meaning doesn't end with the life itself. It can change and evolve even in death, especially for great national figures like Lincoln, but for others as well.